In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer or migrate a Google Workspace account. Whether you're moving to a new organization or just need to transfer ownership of files, these instructions will guide you through the process. First, let's get started by going to the Google Workspace website. This is the hub where you can manage your account settings and administer user data. Once you're there, you'll want to look for the admin console. Clicking this will redirect you to the login page where you'll need to sign in using your business email. Remember, this should be the account with administrative privileges. Login credentials are important as only admins have the necessary access to perform these kinds of tasks. Once you're logged in, direct your attention to the top right corner of the page and click on the Google Apps menu. You may recognize this, the icon resembles a grid of nine small squares. When the menu opens, you'll see various applications, what you'll need to do next is click on the admin icon. This takes you into the admin panel, your central point of control. Within the admin panel, it's time to navigate to apps. Followed by that, go to Google Workspaces. This section allows you to manage all workspace related operations and settings, including file transfers. Now that you're in the Google Workspaces section, look for the option labeled Drive and Docs. This is a crucial step as this is where file ownership can be managed. After you've clicked on Drive and Docs, you'll want to proceed to the Transfer Ownership tab. Here, you'll see fields prompting you to enter user information. This is where you will instruct the system on where to transfer the files from and to which account they should end up. First, enter the username or email of the account you want to transfer files from. This is the original owner, and accuracy is important here to ensure that all relevant data is transferred correctly. Then move on to the to user section where you'll input the username or email of the recipient account, the new owner of these files. Now that you have entered the necessary information, the process is almost complete. The final step is to click on the transfer files button. This action triggers the migration process, ensuring all designated files move from the original account to the new one. Depending on the size of the data being transferred, this may take a little while. And there you have it. With these steps, you've successfully initiated the transfer or migration of your Google Workspace account files. Remember to verify post-transfer that all files are accessible in the new account, and if necessary, make adjustments to sharing settings to suit the new ownership. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide has been helpful in seamlessly managing your Google Workspace account transfers.